Jones and those guys. Just make sure whatever happens that none of them go off the end of the belt without a stone in it. Okay. okay? Let her roll. Welcome, everyone, <laughs> to Fire Mountain Live. I'm Chris. This is... Rose, hi. We're back together. We've got our nice little uh, plex separator. Me and Rose are back together again. We're really, really excited. We did some earlier videos together. It's been a little while. But here we're doing some nice, quick, and easy earring projects. And, and I, I hope you love the video. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be that rough. We had so much fun, though. <laughs> we did a little... Even I remember those old episodes, so we had to lean into that a little bit, but it's not going to be that stressful at Even all. Even he remembers. Right, right. But I think the <laughs> one stat we're going to bring up that's going to kind of encompass a little bit about what Rose is highlighting here today is that we tend to underprice our jewelry. like Because everyone. we underprice our labor. So if you cut back on labor... Then you get to increase the value of your jewelry because you didn't spend so much... Basically, people who are making their own jewelry for sale, they only think of the materials. They don't think about your time. Your time is valuable. You're as valuable as any other worker in the world. So you need to get paid for your time, so you need to price your jewelry correctly. So we usually figure, rule of thumb, three times your materials plus your labor. Mm -hmm. And if you can keep your labor time down, then you get a little more profit on your jewelry. And I think a little early question we want to throw out to you and get you participating in is some of your all-star stories. Um, a project that you made, you were able to make a lot of. It didn't really cost you that much money, didn't cost you much time. You set it up at that bazaar, you blinked your eyes, and it was gone. Like, that's kind of what we're kind of playing with today. And we'd love to hear your stories there as well. Yeah, we've already got some questions coming in. So thank you all for joining us on Fire Mountain Live. We've got Marla from Delaware, and Lisa wants to say, definitely a creative block. I'm not sure what that means. Are you in a creative block, Lisa? I hope we can inspire you oh, today yeah. because Maybe it's our new, have... like, creative cube block that we oh, even yeah. got with our Check new set. Check out our new set. You know, yeah, Woo! creative block. I know, I love it. It's like four-sided. We could almost like rotate around to projects. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. And that's one way to help uh, remove a creative block is change it around, change it up. And today we're going to bring you a whole bunch of different designs that you can make really quickly. Let's start with our star of our show, Almost Instant Jewelry Findings. Yay. Yay. So what do we have here? Ones like this. Mm -hmm. Super simple. All you have to do is glue a, a, a beautiful faceted crystal stone into a mount, and you've made a pair of earrings. Like our video, and if you missed our very first beginning of this show, the first few minutes of a video, please go back and watch the reruns after the show is over, because we had a lot of fun making it. Yes, and if you have any questions and we don't get to them, we will get to them afterwards as well. And if also you don't catch it live, feel free to peruse the comment section too. Um, Melissa will probably have some links down below to some of the stuff that we're talking about. Also, feel free to head over to our website, firemountaingems.com. Uh, we have other videos. We have a huge resource center with a lot of illustrated uses that Rose and her team have made to demonstrate all the stuff that we're doing today, maybe other stuff. So anything to inspire you. So this is just kind of a loose little smattering. Um, but these components are probably a fraction of a percent, maybe 2% of who knows of what we actually carry. We have uh, a lot of stuff, so feel free to take Over 100,000 different products yes. in general. And findings and this kind of stuff is probably one of the higher percentages that we have that we carry. We carry lots of this stuff. And Melissa wants to say, loved it. That means the video. 
Oh, with <laughs> the other video of me and, yes, of Rose and us together. Yes. The Rose and Chris video. This is our first duo. She was kind of my first partner with all this. I've kind of, I've, I've kind of come in as like a beginner intermediate jewelry designer. I've been with Fire Mountain for over 10 years, but I've kind of run into a few projects here and there and really do have interests. A lot of you out there are definitely way more knowledgeable than me, but I'm kind of more of that beginner. And what's really been fun is just getting confidence with each project. And here's another one. And make sure you subscribe because in a few weeks, Chris is going to host his show by himself because I'm on vacation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> by himself making a bolo tie yeah. by himself. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean into this one. No shame. Wear some boots. But right now, Chris is going to yeah. demonstrate how to make these almost instant jewelry settings. What's so the first, what's our first little tool here, Rose? The first little tool is a piece of scrap clay left over from my polymer clay work. I like it. So leftovers. Just like in the video we had at the very, very beginning of the show, we use these polymer clay blocks to hold the earring in place while the glue cures so your stone doesn't just slide right out. Yeah. So he's got that up. set into the polymer clay and he's pressed it down so it's uh, parallel to the ground. Next thing I'm going to do, he has is some chemistry. Chemistry. He's going to add the, the two-part epoxy. This is a DEVCON five-minute epoxy. And then like most glues that dry, this cures. So it's got two parts. He Just squirts a, a tiny, tiny bit of each you part. You don't need much. And this stuff we've had for a while, and it stays good. Oh, that was that was too much. That was like four times. See, he could make four pairs of earrings <laughs> with what he just squirted out there. And good. that's okay. You might be doing that, but you've only got five minutes to work. Right. So very, very small that batches. And once, then what we're going to do, we're going to mix it together. Yeah. Once he gets that mixed up, it starts to cure. And you can kind of smell it working, let me tell you. And how do we know, how long should we be mixing it for, Rose? Uh, I, it seems to me when I'm looking at it, it seems like it's like a little tiny bit cloudy when I first start. And by the time I'm done, it's clear. So it's probably about a minute because you got to think every molecule of A has to meet a molecule of B so that it can cure and get hard and stick your earring into the, your, your crystal, into your earring setting. <laughs> And let's talk about some of the qualities of this glue, because I know there's probably some glue aficionados, and they always kind of fire up, and they want these details. One of the early things I noticed about this glue that you'll see is that it's not super runny. It's kind of globulous. It makes it very easy to kind of get a nice little glob and then place it in a nice spot and not have it run all over the place. And not too much, because it will squoosh out the sides if you put in too much. It doesn't take very much. It's very strong. And it'd be probably OK to wipe that off, too. You can wipe that off easy. But yeah, Rose is making a good point. You don't want to go too If you too do much. blob it up there, though, a good way to wipe off any excess is with some acetone nail polish remover while it's still wet. And we don't need that much, like we said. Um, and I'm going to go, and here, here's another quick little product, too, in case you want to get fingerprints all over your stone. It's called Embelly Jelly. It is, comes with this nice little tray and a nice little stick, and you, you pull it a little bit off, put it on the stick, and it just makes it very, very easy to pick up your stone, and it doesn't impart any sort of residue. And you can kind of really kind of, depending on how precise you need to be, you know, really nice up and down. Rose has a nice trick for the little pointy part to just kind of, if you need to flatten them out, don't be afraid to, you know, really get down <laughs> and level it out nice. But you can see just like we were making fun in the video at the beginning, but the reality yeah. is if you're working this with your kids, you could do the glue, the kid can put in the stone and move it down the line to the next person who's going to package it up for you. Uh, we also have a second kind of glue. This is a five-minute DevCon. We also mm -hmm. have one we call it 30 minutes, and it's got 30 minutes of working time. So if you're doing a bunch, that 30 minute is even better. Right, right. And look and at yeah, that, he's got a pair of earrings done. Quick and easy, under a minute, easy. So no labor. And and so we were going to talk about these earrings in relation. Let's ta start talking oh, about yeah. those guys, because that's what we're saying. They've, they've almost got the same price point, but one took a lot longer to make than the other. This is, um, this is kind of our, our, our theme for the show, is making good price point earrings. So this pair of earrings, although it's lovely, it's got a cute little guitar and sort of a uh, a Cinco de Mayo sort of look to it. Um, every one of those little beads has to be has to have be put on a head pin and then a loop made. This is a lot of time. So this is a great pair of earrings for yourself. But if you want to get your labor money out of it, you're going to have to charge a fair amount. Maybe they won't sell for that fair amount. Mm -hmm. So we're going to work on some jewelry that you can make quickly enough to make a good profit without worrying too much about the labor. And you know, another thing that I didn't even think to bring up, you know, you've got a booth, you've got to fill it up, you're stressing out, you've got five really, really good pieces that are got a really, really high price tag, and you just need filler. 
right? What a great idea to just fill out a collection and fill out a booth with other options. You know, you, so you could still have a nice expensive pair of earrings that took you two hours to make, and then you've got a bunch of other people are like, man, you got mm -hmm. a lot of products, you know? Mm -hmm. um, hey, so Porta is asking, can you use the... Fran Porta. I'm sorry. Oh, Fran Porta. I'm sorry. I got a little <laughs> bit of glare on this, uh, our protective plex here. Fran Porta asks, can you use the epoxy as a clear resin to smooth rough wire edges? I don't think I would. It's a little thick and glossy. Uh, if I want to smooth rough wire edges, I usually use some sandpaper or a, or a file. Uh -huh. uh, or a wire rounder if it's like the, the end of your ear, ear, your earring. Um, a better choice might be also the jewelry shield if you're wanting to protect people also from metals because that's a, a great oh. coating you can put over your ear wires and prevent people from getting allergic reactions to an inexpensive ear wire. Nice. Okay. Ooh, more oh. questions. Wow. We saw, uh, Marla Love the intro. Love the intro. Thank Needed you. a laugh. <laughs> and we had a lot of fun doing that, actually. Uh, yeah. That was fun. Uh, Sherry uh, says, hi, and Trudy. We've got Clovis from Indiana, Patricia from Mexico. Hello. And Shelly says, that was a cute Aww. opening. We enjoyed it, too. Thank you for watching from the very beginning. We love to see some watchers starting right away because we are truly live. We're not recording this part of it. So, And also, if we say something stupid, it's us. It's mm -hmm. not the company. Please don't blame them. It's no me. No jinx. I'm and good. I've got this. Yeah, okay. We've got this, Rose. So uh, other, par other things we can do with this almost instant. You can see that Chris has oh. got a whole bunch of findings and stones you there. You could even, yeah, if you don't even have to worry about glue and anything with some of the really, Look really cool the findings. We've got. So here's show. a finding. There's a stone, glue, done. Done. Here's a finding. Here's a stone. This one actually has a prong set, oh, so I'd have to one. put this in and then bend down the prongs. It's done. I've got a nice little teardrop right here Oops. with a, in, in a nice little silver finding drop. Bend down the prongs, done. There's, yeah, here's one with an entire set of three, and the little finding for it comes in a set of three. So there we've got three. Some stones, an ear wire, boom, done. Yeah, so many cool things you can make really fast. And don't limit yourself to these fancy stones because we've got findings that will accommodate a, ca a cabochon as well. Oh, I just made one. So there's I'm a done. cabochon. Oh, there's the finding oh. and the cabochon. Boom, done. Now I don't even need to add an ear wire. It's already there. Although I could add a little drop to that loop. That would be nice. Oh. And look, I just grabbed a nice little shell, put it on an ear wire, done. Oh, look at that. He unhooked. Oh, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't actually open it he up. He unhooked. There he is. Yes, you might have to open up a jump ring for some of these. We've got so many cool um, charms. Go out and get some of those out of there. Yeah, too. some more of the charms here. We've got some fun ones. We've got a, got a nice little crab. <laughs> hey, for any of the crazy grandkids out there, we got a gas mask. Um, <laughs> I love the. Um, I love the gas mask. <laughs> even these nice little links with. Um, why am I blanking on the. Uh, oh, what's that called? Oh, Druzy. 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 That's very, very nice. Um, and I know that you had some other types of earrings that were not so much the glue in place, but with some of the nice links and some of these dangles. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should Look show at them these. that. these. This is another quick, quick, easy. You've got a couple right here, Chris, in your little tray. Oh, these guys? Oh, I was yeah. talking about your dance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to get through the charms first. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, we've got Christmas and Halloween, and we've got these pre-seed beaded ones. Aren't these fun? That is these fun. These are actually being discontinued, but we have a large stock of them, so if you like them, make sure you get some while we still have them. And you can make your own with that pattern there. And you know anybody who does seed beads. I do seed beads. The labor involved in making that little poopy thing, <laughs> this is a lot easier to just buy one. So we do have another good question, and we kind of talked about it earlier, but how do you price your products? And we hope to do some future videos. We've got a couple in the mix mm. with this kind of idea. So that's please the hardest keep question. offering feedback and that suggestion because we'd like to, because, you know, we're not going to really talk so much about numbers now because somebody may see this in the future. Who knows what prices are? But Rose has a pretty good metric. Yeah, my rule of thumb, and I think this is pretty much everyone's, is three times the cost of the materials plus the cost of your labor. Don't underestimate your labor. Your time is worth your money. <laughs> you know, it is money. And then the other modifier there would be brand. And as you build a brand, that brand is going to add a percentage cost too. You know, so there's all these little variables. Oh, overhead and everything. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are really, really looking forward to hopefully getting 
um, a video, either a Facebook lifestyle or a produced video that we can get up with more information about that. Patty has got a lot of great info there. All of our jewelry designers do, and I can just sit back and. Uh, and it won't necessarily be Fire Mountain Live, because this is good information yep. for ongoing information. But we do have a lot of great videos on techniques and styles and articles and everything at FireMountainGems.com. So, yes. yeah, there's lots of, <laughs> lots of education available there. Uh, oh, okay, so some other uh, styles besides just, add, oh, by the way, I should say that adding a charm to an ear wire is like my most profitable thing to do. When I take jewelry to a show or something, a charm on an ear wire sells great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else did you want us, want us to show, talk oh, about? Even, even oh, these you want nice to talk about these? Yeah, you want to get to these guys? Uh, these are great. Here's one of my favorite products. It's uh, an aluminum mesh, and it's super light and very fluid and full of movement. And it makes great earrings. And it plays on the chain mail thing without ever having to spend all the time making chainmail. Look chain at this. Mail. Now this one I actually added drop to. But we, were, we and Rose were having a good conversation earlier about like just loving big, large, bold earrings uh. that are very, very lightweight. And we have a lot of products that allow you to kind of keep things going big without having them be so heavy. And this mm. is one of them. And this, you'd think that's a difficult earring. But the reality is, I've used a tube end here, which is meant to end uh, a seed beaded loom bracelet is what it's meant for. Uh -huh. But what I use it for yeah, is to out. slip some of this aluminum mesh into the tube to make the earrings. And I don't think I can do it right now in front of everybody. And oh, you got this, Rose. But yeah, the nature I don't of have my always, good glasses it on. Right in. She's, she's got it. She was doing the individual, uh, the individual ones too might be a little easier. Yeah. That. Yeah. Well, it slides slide right in. in there. It slides in. When you've got your good glasses on. Yes. But don't limit yourself to that mesh. You could also use cup chain. So this cup chain also can slide right into that little tube. And this one I think I can do without my good glasses. And it has a very, very narrow slot down the side of that yeah. tube if it's not completely clear. And there There's it is. There's a little so slot. It slides, and so you, you can slide in a whole bunch of those. And look what you can make. You can go stair Oops, step. Backwards. You could go slanted, you could go uniform with your length. Now that yeah. looks like an expensive pair of earrings. What can you sell that for? And look at how long it takes to make. Cut mm -hmm. little pieces of cup chain and slide it into a tube. One Sunday afternoon, I think you could stock a whole booth off of stuff, right Rose? And then just fold that little <laughs> end down. Oh, uh, another That's question. It? What is the coating called that you mentioned earlier to help with metal allergies? Oh, it's called Jewelry Shield. And it's um, kind of like nail polish, and I think it's a little thinner. You brush it on your ear wire, let it dry, and you don't get that uh, that red, itchy ir irritation you get on your ears. I get it, too. Uh, you do Melissa, have to replace it once in a while. And I bet Melissa in the next couple of minutes is going to have a link down, oh, yeah. hopefully, in the comment section for, for that product. She's great, awesome great at product. finding links for us. <laughs> she is. Hi, Jane from Plymouth, Mass. Uh, Yvonne, from, uh, we got Tammy from Texas. Uh, Terry, just up the road in Eugene. How are you? Thanks for tuning hey, in. Hey, Terry. Uh, Yvonne says, I miss your sparkly St. Patty's Day nails, Rose. Oh. That one must not have been look my nails. Look at these. these. Look at how beautiful these are. They're, they're a couple weeks old now, but I've got diagonals on my French tips. I thought that was so fun. And Marla so says, uh, quick, cool gifts. Thanks for the ideas. That's what this ah. is all about. You can it's do your whole family and maybe have a a bridal shower or a special party year. Yeah, and as everything is starting to kind of get feeling like springtime and feeling a little bit back to normal, you know, you could even still be following the protocols in a park with friends and whatnot and just take over a table and, and just in uh, one Sunday afternoon stock an entire, sh you know, an entire booth. You know, and those bazaars, they're going to hopefully get going pretty soon and everyone's kind of getting the idea of I need to have some inventory here soon. Or, you know, someone says, hey, we need you to fill this booth. If you can't turn this price down for this booth, but I'm sorry, it's in a week and a half. How am I going to get enough product? Well, here we go. Oh, we're coming out of the COVID crisis. More people are getting their shots, and we're all feeling healthy and well. I'm getting my shot Saturday. Yay. My first one. Eh. All right. <laughs> but here's another one with that aluminum mesh. Look at this. This is so easy. I cut a square. Literally, I cut a square. And then I hung it by the corner on an ear wire. I hope that color is coming across. It's cool because it and does have I, a teal sheen. It's almost the, got a green sheen to it. It oh, changes color a little bit. This mesh be. comes in lots of different colors, and some of them are sort of bitonal. They, yes. As they move, And that they doesn't come color. across on the video right now, I assure and you. And that was really hard when you were photographing them, I bet. Right, yes. <laughs> We've got tricks, though. <laughs> we 
do. <laughs> He'll have to teach us that in another one of his photography ones. <laughs> Which is ideas that came from you, you know. That's yes. another thing we like to say. We're we're doing these videos, and a lot of the a lot of the best ones that we've done have been from input from you guys Absolutely. and gals out there. So if you have any ideas that you're thinking for future videos, fire them in there right now. Yeah. Fire when, you know, what would you like to see? Yeah. What do you want to see? We're excited. I know the jewelry pricing is a popular one. That's already one we're kind of. Oh, Jane. About. Thank you. Jane says I do seed bead embroidery. Love the new delicate colors. I've got 80 more I have to s loom up for us so we can have some more Delicas coming. Hey, Jane, There's as a photographer, more. I've been shooting nothing but Delicas and new colors, definitely There's new more. colors. Uh, they're, uh, they're cool. Can't, you know, I can't, we always have to be careful what we can and can't say, but I, I love, I love the bright and the muted and all that they're doing <sighs> right now. And so, and I've always liked the quality, uh, a, a glass, you know, a glass bead, you know, a jump seed bead or any of those things. So yeah, Delicas definitely have that down. Hi, Carrie and Abby from Ireland. Nice to hear from you. I think we heard from you two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I know, I know we, we do see familiar names. Like, I don't want to make any assumptions. I think I've seen a few today that I think we've popped up before. Oh, yeah. So uh, thank you for coming back. Uh, you know, tell your, all your crafting friends and whatnot. We're here. We're having fun. We're making stuff. We're staying creative, staying positive. Let's go. What do we got? Yes, the glass orbs, glass containers. We containers, have. You know? We have a bunch of these little glass containers in different sizes and shapes and, and with their little uh, cork. I couldn't think of the word cork. Uh -huh. Cork and, and toppers or whatever. And you can fill these with whatever you want. You can fill them with seed beads. You could fill them with micro beads. These are, these are itty bitty beads smaller than a size 15 seed bead, but they don't have a hole. They're just for embellishment. And they're so precise so put in there. so oh. perfectly round in How about such a satisfying way. Some glitter from your craft store. Yeah, I remember as a kid, uh, even in the 80s, the, the, the colored sand in the bottles mm -hmm. that you would layer up. Colored I think, sand? You know, some or even tiny little seashells or, or uh -huh. just a personal note to your loved one, you know, saying have a good day or, or a password a you can't prayer. remember. You know, some password, password, some password, some top what secret password that, you know, you keep your chest and no one knows is there. You just break it open one day. Break to recover the password. <laughs> Fun. It's a great idea. <laughs> I oh, need that. Don't worry, Becky. Becky says that she's sorry and she's late, uh, you know, saying hi and she's Becky. late. It's okay, Becky. When this is over, you can go back and watch from the beginning, too. It'll be posted up later. Thanks for still coming. We're making nice, quick, uh, quick and easy jewelry projects. Or, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, you, yeah, you really need, because we did something fun at the beginning. We're warning you now, Becky. Yes, that's true. Get a new your intro tissue, because you'll be laughing. And Marla wants to say, I would love to see more clip-on earring demos. Well, almost all of them can be switched to clip-ons. But we don't have, what, what is that? I have a pair in there. Ooh, oh, I there. The silver one's on the far left. Oh, far left, right here? There's some clip-ons right there. And those are an almost instant style oh, of earrings. Oh, they're kind of, no, they're actually technically not clip-on. But, you know, we, oh, we do not, have uh, some lever backs. I don't think we, we carry a lot of them. We just don't have any on the set right now. Where's this one? That oh. one? Nope, that's a lever back. It's not a clip-on. Darn it, I'm sorry. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> we do have a lot, and um, most of them are fully translatable, but not too much of them. It's almost instant. Oh, right, right. I, we need to tell our marketing people, our, our product management people that go out and buy all the products, hey, how about some clip-on almost instant? Marla wants them. Uh-huh, I like it. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> we mesh got earrings look says, great. Yeah, those mesh earrings look great. Uh, Chris D says, loves the new frames. Chris, thank you, Chris. Yep, you know, I, you know, time to change things up. Let's get a little bit more bright and just, you know, so I had to go a little bit bigger and brighter. I think they're working off. I think they're working out. We'll see. Uh, George says, Hawaii is here. Yes, it Yay! feels like it. I said yesterday was our first day of spring, it felt like. I was like, yep, spring yep. is here. Our, our, our cherry trees are blooming. The daffodils are up. It's all fun and games the right now. The birds are being awesome. And it's almost Saturday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All <laughs> right. Oh, here's another one. Oh, Rose and I's first video was tasseled. Yeah. It takes me back, Rose. Aw, tassel the time. The <laughs> <laughs> we had fun with these. Uh, these tassels, check it out. Another super simple and easy thing. And tassels are so hot. You can't get enough tassels in the world. And so you buy these little mini tassels that are already made. You take out the little jump ring that's already there and slide it onto this hoop. Done. Boom. Another set of earrings. Easy breezy. 
We're, we're developing a whole line for you guys. Easy breezy earrings. Oh, oh, when can we get to the mod earrings? There's earrings that, that they're like transformers. You don't even like permanently oh. glue them. You can just transform them through the day. Oh, this is. Are you talking about these? Sorry, no, those will be next too. Yeah. Oh, Here's okay. Sneak peek. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Check these out. They're made with aluminum scales. There's just three aluminum scales. They're super light, got a lot of movement to them. And we sell these scales in all sorts of colors and sizes. And you just layer them up. And now Rose had a great idea. You could even be at the booth and the customer could walk up and choose their colors there. Yeah. And you could make them in seconds and be like, that'll be $50. No. <laughs> I don't think you get quite that much. Well, I don't know where you live. Maybe you can. <laughs> I can. <laughs> so yeah, cool. Groovy. Oh, wait. And put some more colors out because uh -huh. it's so much fun. Just layer them up, have fun. Yeah, I like them. They're they're they, they I like the and they again move. super light. And the scales kind of play on something. The industrial, the bright colors play on something. Maybe a little bit of an '80s feel again. <laughs> you know, that's a new kind of a trend coming back. They're very versatile and um, uh, yeah, and affordable, easy to work with. Super fun, fun. Can we get to the transformer earring? The transformer earring. Yeah, that one. Okay, so here's a pretty little earring. One of the almost instant type, it's just a little stud. Easy enough. So you take the stud, glue in one of these chitons. Oh, by the way, these chitons that we're using, all these fancy faceted stones, they're all by Preciosa. And as you know, um, one of our favorite com European crystal companies is no longer producing these kinds of beads. So we're getting them from Preciosa and they are beautiful. Mm -hmm. So have no fear that, uh, that you're not going to be able here. to make this stuff. And our settings fit the Preciosa stones really well. No worries. So you take a bead like that or a, a, an earring like that and add it to, this is just called a component. I'm using it as an earring jacket. Just put it, the earring into your earring jacket. Put the back on. And you've just transformed your daytime earring into an evening earring yeah, or vice versa. Yeah, you don't glue it. You can just, and there's even another modifier over there, mm -hmm. I think. There's lots of these like flat bead caps. It's kind of what it is. You can change things out. Maybe something a little less elaborate. Wow, I, I did that this. without my glasses on. Pretty proud no, of me. No, you did good. You got it. <laughs> but, yeah, keep it like that or add it to the other one. I mean, Oh, I didn't the, think of that. That's a good idea. The variety, I love this. I'm calling it the transformer earring. Oh, <gasps> yeah. That's cool. And you can just transform it throughout the day. Don't glue it together. Just keep the components, um, even as a even as a selling feature, too. Use like a clear AB and um, then it, any jacket goes with it. Yeah. Now, I have to admit, this jacket has been embellished because it was colored with swelligant. And that's mm -hmm. a bright purple dye. There's lots of different colors, but this one was done with the bright purple metal dye. Yeah. Uh, so this one's more the way it came to us from the manufacturer, and we could take that, and we could clean off the surface finish off of it, and we could swell against that too. And we have videos on swell again on our website, and also, um, yeah, in some of our other platforms. Uh, feel free to look it up. It's it's very fun stuff, and we were riffing on this earlier as well. If you've got, let's say, you got a good sale on a hundred of these silver guys, and you know you're not be able to use all silver, and you're just like, God, I got uh, so many of these, I only use twenty of them. Swell again is a great way to uh, repurpose and, and edit this into something very unique and give it a patina look like the Statue of Liberty or like a Tiffany kind of a patina. And there's different names for them and they're all natural. It's not any harsh chemicals or anything like that as well. And super fun stuff. And so have to mention it. Oh, you know, yeah. when we were talking about charms, yeah, I missed out on these guys. Oh, the serpent. Kind Isn't of this cool? Well, I don't know whether it's a leaf or a feather, but... Oh, feather. It's it's a, a crystal, and it's on a rhodium-plated, silver-plated type of thing. So it's not terribly expensive for as beautiful and as elegant as it is. Add to that that to a really pretty ear wire. And yes, materials are a little more expensive on this, but your labor was very small. Mm -hmm. So you can still get a good price for that, too. What a beautiful, elegant earring. And I love these little guys, too. These little tiny pavé set. Oh, they come in gunmetal plate, they come in gold plate and silver plate in these tiny little pieces. I got my glasses upside down, so I um, don't have my, there we go. Um, yeah, 
So all those different colors. And Dainty is also very popular right now. Hey, Rhonda says, first time watching your Ooh. live program. I have loved FMG for years. <laughs> Anxious to see all your projects. Well, Rhonda, mm -hmm. welcome. Yeah, we have got a plenty of old ones in the catalog. You can click on the little live on the left there and see all the other ones that we've done. We're doing more in the future. We want your input. We'd love to hear what you guys want to hear, see from us, and we can all learn together. All right? That's great. Oh, Carrie says Abby, her nine-year-old, loves the tassels. Good. And that's a fun project you can do together as a family and even with a nine-year-old. Yes. And she can easily get those threaded on there. You guys could set up a whole little show. Get them going. <laughs> get them ready for the bazaar. Uh, any surgical steel products suitable to ship internationally? Uh, we keep track of the laws internationally, and most of them not, because they contain nickel. Oh, interesting. See, so I it's different that. countries have different rules, and we try and follow all the rules of all the countries, I believe. I'm not in, I don't work in shipping, so I don't know for a fact, but that's my feeling. And I bet you, Melissa will figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> She'll find our answer for us, for real. My answer is probably not. Sorry. Okay, what are the materials for the little red square earrings in the left corner, rose right there? There you go. I think it's this stuff. Um, yes, Melissa, get on, get on this one for her. <laughs> <laughs> I forget the number of the earring, but I'll find uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. So when we know the number, you can do hashtag and the number of the earring, and then it'll get sent to you. We call them doc ID numbers here, and they kind of they're, they're four digit code of any project. So. But if you're just that. searching on our website, this is aluminum mesh. These are tube ends. Mm -hmm. That's just near wire, and I this happens to be onyx on the end because it was with a pair of earrings, so. But you don't need that. You could make this into a V, mm -hmm. you know, and not use the beads. This this adds to your time and your expense because it's onyx. But you could use glass as well. Anything. Hi, oh, Darlene more questions. From Excellent. Canada. Welcome. Uh, let's see. What is the product name of the flower backings you use? Oh, the on the earring jacket. I bet it's that. Ah, I was Gosh, trying to think I of this know. earlier. I call it a component. And weren't they? I'm trying because I was trying to remember. Uh, like Here's what, what they looked like before they were swellingented. Yeah, and I'm. Uh, why am I blanking on the product name too? Is it is it for earrings, or I almost want to think it was. It is not meant for earrings. No, it's a component for. Uh, it was actually kind of a bead cap, but I think we just call them filigree components. Oh, if you okay. search filigree components, I think you'll get this. And you know what? I'm well, this is our go-to girl. We're gonna have. Uh, <laughs> We're going to have a list up in the comments at, at some Wow, point. that's wonderful. Thank you all for all the questions. That really makes this interactive for us. We love it. Yes, and again, our website, firemountaingems.com. Feel free to head over there, kind of peruse the products. We have a nice resource center that has projects, uh, illustrated uses that can show you like how you can use this stuff, articles from professionals, all sorts of stuff, videos. We like it, you know. Nicole says, hello, FMG friends. I'm tuning in from my new home. Oh, I have a feeling that's Nicole Ortiz, whom I teasingly call Orbits. Oh, nice. <laughs> congratulations on the new home. Good the job. New, the new chapter. Uh, it feels like very, very exciting new chapters. She probably doesn't have her beating stuff unpacked yet. Oh, or, She'll maybe, get there. or maybe that was the first thing she did. <laughs> well, we're winding down here. Do we, did we miss anything? Did, did we you, miss anything? Did we miss anything? Any other questions and comments? Uh, yeah, we used that one. Um, if there's any other kind of input and that sort of thing, hey, have fun making some quick and easy jewelry projects. I hope we inspired you because that's what we want to do. <laughs> so from Chris yes. and me, Rose, we're so happy you joined us for Fire Mountain Live, or yeah, Fire Mountain Live, and hope you join us again in two weeks. And if you missed that beginning opening video, make sure you go back and watch the playback. <laughs> we had fun, but it's not that stressful. <laughs> this is not that stressful. You can do it. I just did it. I've got confidence now. <laughs> so everybody, bye-bye and happy meeting. Take care.